Hey everybody, it's Monica. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I appreciate you all for being here. In this week's video, I wanted to give you guys an updated craft room tour. Now, I didn't do anything really dramatic in here. The configuration is the same. A lot of things, as you can see, are still the same. But I also wanted to reorganize and make my room a little more functional. So in that case, I ended up taking some things down to my basement that I don't utilize very often, like my laser cutter, um, also some of my larger silicone molds, my tumbler turner, things like that, because I don't get to those as often as I do all my other things. I also wanted to make it a little more functional for when I'm, I am actually working on something. I think it looks a lot better. I did buy a few new organizational items to store some things um, it looks so much better so if you're interested stick around and that's coming up next i apologize for the lighting here you guys but here's the door to my craft room i just moved this sign over to the door i thought it was cute we're gonna open and i'll do a quick pan of the room And then I'll go through every little area. I apologize if the lighting's a little off. All right, so we're going to start back here. I did swap out some of my paints and put a few other things back here that were more beneficial for me and got them out of the way. Back here, I moved my pegboard up and just put my paper cutter back here out of the way. There is one of my glitter canvases up there. And then I moved these signs over here. I just wanted it to be a little more functional for me and have room for some of my things so if we pan over to this wall as you can see I moved my cork board over because it was right behind my monitor I really couldn't reach it and then I did get this new whiteboard that just shows the week it's easier to track things here I think it would be helpful other than the bigger whiteboard that I had that I really, really wasn't utilizing here is my favorite Bible scripture. This is an embroidery that my sister-in-law gave me, and I'm sure you'll recognize this macrame wall hanging that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. Of course, my heat press is pretty much in the same spot. I did get some little risers, um, just because it was a little further down to the ground, and I wanted to make sure that it was a little easier to heat press so it does help a lot. If I pan over here to my desk, um, back here I have little packets of um, heat transfer vinyl, kind of like grab bags that I'll eventually do giveaways on. This is one of the shelves that I had in my closet. Um, I just cut the legs down so they could fit under my desk. I think it's better use of space back here. I didn't have anything back here. I did have a couple of bottles of resin and I moved those. Um, so this is a lot better use of the space here. This is for a project that I'm gonna get ready to start on this weekend. So as you can see, my desk is fairly cleared off now. This uh, larger mouse pad, I, it's brand new along with the keyboard. The keyboard I had before did not have the number keys over here, which it was bothering me a lot, so I had to get a new one because I utilize this all the time just because it's force a habit with my job. So I will put a screenshot of that so you can see. Here is my uh, heat tape dispenser, my computer glasses and stickers and things. microphone and then I got my little Bluetooth speaker there back there got my little hula Timon from uh, the Lion King <laughs> I moved my little uh, 
straight up here just to, because it's easier access here. Of course, my monitor. I did move my uh, thermal laser printer, sorry, my thermal printer for my shipping up. And then, as you can see, I started adding my diamond art up here. I just like the way it looks and I have room to add more things up there. Here is the glitter canvas that I did in my last tutorial. Love how this looks. The light isn't even capturing all the sparkle on there. I absolutely love it. This stayed the same. I just moved a couple of little booklets out of there, but all my stickers are still there. I still need to sort through those. And of course, my wall of glitter, um, this pretty much stayed the same as well. I do need to reorganize because I have my foils up there. Um, I might organize this to move my mica powders up because I don't use them as often as I do my glitter. But that pretty much stayed the same. This pretty much stayed the same as well. I haven't really utilized it, but just so you can see, I have... A lot of my brushes here, my little uh, silicone brushes and things right there. Just pencils and little things that I use from time to time, little screwdrivers and things like that here. I have some of my other inks here. I might get rid of these because I really don't use these. I don't, I haven't really utilized these. I have some um, aluminum uh, business cards there. I have my transfer tapes in here, my faux leathers and things here for when I make my earrings. These are just extra little uh, packets that I started for pop-up cards. And these are just little wooden um, keychains and things, which I don't use very often either. Here are all my double-sided tapes here. And then just other little supplies and things here. I put a little hook here on the end of my desk so I can hang my rulers. Now I did organize this. Um, I did, these are new. I apologize for the lighting, but these are new. I wanted to kind of tuck away the things that I don't use regularly, but also to make it look nice and tidy. So I have all my... Uh, Gloves here for when I do my resin and my UV resin back here. These are just extra little things that, you know, my little funnel and my etching things. Just little things that are out of the way. My tumblers are still back there. These are all my rags and stuff back here. Over here I have all my tapes. I have my cover there for my Cricut, but... All my tapes and things, I just moved them over to this side. And then I just have like, you know, an extra power cord and my other Cricut plug and things right there. Here I have some of my silicone things here, my mixing cups and stuff. And then of course, as I said, these are my uh, silicone gloves for when I do resin. I moved my spell binders die cutting machine here and my hot foil machine there my create a sticker little thing some of my pre-cut uh, card stock for my card making of course and then you can see back there I have some hooks hanging my uh, Cricut mats and then I did go through my little rolling cart here my jewelry making things are still here I have cups and things down here, but I did end up moving some of the things that I had on my desk, like my pens and markers and things here because I don't use them as often, but they're out of the way. Um, I might move these as well. I just put them there for now. You know, my uh, lint roller, my little torch, my pencil sharpener. Again, I might change this out, but at least it's out of the way. Um, I did get a new light here, so you will see that in the background mostly. I have back here a lot of my adhesive sprays and things. My resin 
is way back there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, then I got my trash can in front. It hides everything nicely. So here are my little, uh, kind of like the hack of the um, Alex drawers, right? And I didn't really go through some of these um, last time in my craft room. These weren't painted. They weren't done. They are done now. But I'll, I'll just show you right here. I have um, some of my cutting tools, my little scoring tool, my little envelope maker in there. Just all the flat stuff. I have all my little tape adhesives and glue dots in here. And here I just have scraps of heat transfer vinyl. I have all my bags in here for when I do a shirt. I'll put it in here. I got tissue paper down here. And then, of course, some of my other card making things. I just kind of didn't have a spot for those, so I just threw them there. Here I have my uh, DTF powders and some of my rhinestone templates underneath. Here I have some of my Cricut Joy Smart Vinyl, some transfer tape. I do have, I was going to make some sets here. I got these pens and these little journals. I had bought these when I was going to do a craft fair. I just never got around to them. So I might make some for the holidays. Right here I have some more of my tools. A few little jewelry making things there. My little earring cards with the little cellophane bags. Everything's put away nicely there. Right here I have my hot foil things, all my hot foils. Um, this actually should go with my uh, rhinestones. And then back there I have some of the plates and some little bags and things. So as you can see, I had to find spot for my wide format printer. So I put it on my desk here. Fits perfectly in there. And then I just got uh, all this stuff kind of sorted out nice and neat. Things that I get to more regularly. I don't know if you guys recall, but I had these in my closet before. But I ended up moving them, condensing them, moving them here. So I'm able to access them and, and remember that they're there so I can work on some things. Because I do miss making those. I wanted to utilize this space a little more efficiently. So some of the things that I had displayed here, I did move to my display shelves. Um, I moved my little turning tool holder here and then some of my pens back there. I have some of my shelves back here. Of course, my salt lamp candle um, and then some of my pens and things there. I reorganized this little um, pegboard, of course, with all the picks and tools that I use. I hung this up. I didn't have it hanging before. I think it's better placed right there. I did kind of work on this a little bit more. Moved some of my artwork this way. That picture in the middle is still there in the same spot. Just like my little macrame. Over here, I decided to open up this space so I can hang all my diamond art. As you can see, there's a set of these. So I just wanted to make use of that so I can look at all my diamond art instead of just having it put away. But if we move over here, this is a little different. Um, I just moved the letters around. The dowel still there holding all my washi tape. But as you can see, I did condense some of my shelves and added some more items that I had on my desk. I moved Patrick Mahomes down. <laughs> I love that picture little resin KC there, my little homie that my son gave me. <laughs> then of course I have Selena up there. I did move a few more of my glitter canvases up there and my little resin chotkas there for my niece and nephew. If they want something I could just take it down. And then of course up here, absolutely love all these things. I love looking at them. If I move up this way. As you can see, I did move some things over. This pretty much stayed the same. The difference is now 
I moved my printers over to this cube because as you can see over here, I had them on here, but I didn't really need to be moving the printers. So I decided to move them to more permanent spot. And then I did my Cricut Explore Air 2 here, my new Cricut Maker up at the top. I have some watercolor pencils here. This is my little airbrush machine that I have yet to use. My little holder for my camera and my batteries. Here is my HTV Ron Easy Press. And then down here, um, they weren't filled yet, but I organized these little containers here with my rhinestone things, embellishments, stickers, some uh, mica powders are in little bags, and just a uh, different things like that. Here is my uh, blackboard for when I do uh, large rhinestone products and a few t-shirt forms for when I'm doing something else. So getting back to this, as you can see, I ended up buying this uh, board and staining it, cutting it to size because I had to push forward this unit to have room to hold my printers. Um, as you can see back here, there's a nice gap. Um, I didn't want it to be flimsy, so I bought this. So it's not the exact same color, but it holds my printers. You, I won't even notice. I did move all my paper over here. I have my white card stocks here. And then these are sticker papers, specialty papers. Um, my thermal sheets, different things like that. All my cardstock and things over here. Last time I didn't show you, but I have like here, I just have like um, wax paper, parchment paper, just miscellaneous things. All my straws for my tumblers, everything's in there. Down here I have uh, some glues and Mod Podge and things like that. Right here I have some of my fabrics and my fairy lights in here. Over here, I have some more acrylic paints and things. It's a mess, I apologize. Over here, I have some more straws. Just miscellaneous things, extra covers. Oops, extra covers for when I do my resin uh, for my mask, my respirator. And then down here, I have a uh, you know, extra cups and things there. Now, um, I don't know if you guys noticed this. I don't believe I had this in my last craft room tour, but I did buy this kitchen cart. And I will put a picture of it. Um, it was actually um, that brown. I mean, you can see the brown there. <laughs> but I bought this because I thought I can do my tutorials on here. As you can see, I have my little light set up and everything here. Down here is where I actually have my mug press, my tumbler press. Fits in there nicely. Then I have my binders here that hold my some of my die cuts and my hot foil plates. These are scraps of vinyl that I need to figure out what to do with. And anything that I've been practicing, like my DTF prints and things, I've just kind of been throwing them in here for now until I decide if I want to toss them or whatever. <laughs> But I love this. It comes in very handy. I absolutely love it. At the time that I bought it, though, it cost me about $118, but I went on Amazon, and it's now at $180. But it is a lifesaver. I absolutely love it. Of course, I painted it and then put the contact paper on it just to make it look a little more presentable, and it actually matches the contact paper from that. So incorporate it. Now, the biggest change, of course... Is going to be my closet, which I'm more excited about. This was probably the, the thing that took the longest because I knew I wanted to reorganize it. So we're gonna pull the curtain. Everything up here is almost the same. I did take some things downstairs to my basement and I did move some things up here that I don't utilize very often, but that I will need, so. I have a acrylic set there for the night lights. Uh, in this pink container there, I have excess glitter. 
just different things there. At least they're there. I have some cards there, some books, everything up there. But the biggest change is down here. Of course, I'll pan back so you can see. Absolutely love the turnout of this. So I kept this, but this isn't the sturdiest thing in the world. So I decided, I don't know if you recall, but I had a lot of my sublimation blanks and, and uh, silicone molds and things here. So I decided to move it over all the way to the very end. And I sorted all my shirts, folded them nice and neatly all the way down. And then down there, I have some canvas tote bags. These are just a... Uh, I have my larger roll of uh, glitter vinyl and a big old roll of of a vinyl there. And then down here is just miscellaneous things. Um, these are the inserts I use for my canvases on the back that I use and some cutting boards that I have there when I want to do some laser cutting. Right here I have my rhinestone transfer film and things there some of my uh, sublimation blank mouse pads and coasters and puzzles here. Here is all my heat transfer vinyl, as well as right here. And then this little spot is separating them from my regular vinyl here. Here's some HTV Rant sublimation HTV that I have yet to use. And then up here, I have some of my blank flat canvases here. Some of my gift bags back there and my canvas bags here. Up here, I just have a couple of big canvases and then I put my uh, griddle on top. And some of my uh, pressing mats up here, just out of the way. And then I moved over my, uh, my cardstock packs down here. They were at the top of my unit over there, but... I wasn't getting to them as often, so I decided to move them down here. Up here, I have more of my blank canvases. And then in this bucket here, I have some more sublimation blanks and some uh, polyester fabric. I also have some of my embellishments in here. So then... I ended up buying these clear containers. I don't think there's a need to label these because I can see exactly what's in them. But uh, of course, some of my smaller silicone molds here. Here are some um, keychain and other blanks and things. Acrylic blanks here. I have all my alcohol inks in there. More embellishments here. Here I have my calligraphy writing pens and things here. I have some of my punches here. I don't have very many, so they all fit in here. Here I ended up moving my uh, sizing labels for my shirts here, as well as my uh, glue sticks and my little glue guns. I have my little uh, dowel, my little uh, tool here for when I have to drill a little hole or whatever when I'm making the keychains or whatnot. I have more embellishments here and all these little bottles that I got at the Dollar Tree <laughs> for when I decide to do something with them. Right here I have a lot of my bubble mailers and some poly mailers here. And then right here I'm not going to go through these but these are a lot of my uh, stamps that I have. And I don't use them as often so I just put them there. And then over here, I have some of my canvases that I've done that I have for when I have a craft fair. Some of the shirts that I practice on or that I will sell. My apologies, you guys. I'm trying to um, show off one of my pretty ones like this one. I absolutely love these. So those are intended for when I do craft fairs. So you can see here. I have a very similar, <laughs> this is a tote, Kansas City. Here is a pink one. And then of course, red and gold. And then down here, I saved one of the shelves back here. I have my sublimation inks right there. Then my sublimation tumblers here. And down here, I ended up putting my Cricut Joy away because I don't use it as often. 
And then I have my butcher paper right there. And in here, actually, they're the, the waxed back paper from my peel and stick floor tiling. So I thought I could use those when I do any resin projects. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. I like that I was able to organize everything and just get a better layout of everything. So I'm going to do one quick pan around again. Absolutely love how everything turned out. I love some of my new goodies here. I love my new mouse here with the keyboard and the large mouse pad there. Of course, it all matches my room. I think this is a lot more functional than it was before. And I still got to figure out my settings for my DTF transfer film, but it's a lot more functional now. And then if I needed a bigger space than what I have here to work on, I could always clear this off and work here. But I don't think it's going to be an issue. All right, you guys. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around so we could have a quick chat before I end this video. I also didn't get a chance to show off my little chandelier up here. I don't have the light on because you wouldn't be able to see it, but I've had this since I redid my craft room last year. So I love it. It's cute. And it was only, a, I believe, about $25 on Amazon. So I absolutely love this as well. By the way, I do have other craft supplies here. It's actually just my coloring books and my alcohol markers and a few books all my uh Hannah Lynn coloring books I absolutely love them I think I have all but one or two <clears throat> and then up here I have some of my diamond art stuff and a few other things and my favorite Jack Sparrow action figure if you want to call it he does talk <laughs> anyway um yeah I've usually keep these here in my dining room because when I color or do my diamond art I just prefer doing it here rather than in my craft room and I do have a little cart um, by my couch that way when I get in the mood to color I'll just pull that out take a coloring book out with my markers or my color pencils and do that so this I prefer to have out here rather than in my craft room all right guys so there you have it an updated craft room tour i absolutely love it it was a little painstaking i'm not gonna lie uh just the lifting and moving and sorting through things donating things taking things down to my basement just to make the room more functional for me and as i've said before in my last craft room tour i love to display a lot of the things that i make it just gives me inspiration so i hope you guys enjoyed that um, also, I will put a link to the previous craft room tour that I did so you can see the subtle changes. It's not major changes, but obviously I have a few new things, right? My Cricut Maker, my wide format printer, my Kitchen Island that I absolutely love. Some of the organizational containers that I got as well. And then, of course, my newer thing, my mouse pad and my keyboard and mouse. Absolutely love those. Um, but that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, could you please hit the like button? And if you would consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. It would mean a lot. That is it. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.